good morning it was hard waking up this morning i need to shoot out now as well because it's seven o'clock and i'm looking to open to at eight i'm gonna head out now um so that i'm in wi-fi range in the park at eight so i can buy a flight of passage um yeah and then boma dinner tonight that's exciting i can't wait to see what that's like um they rotate the menu offerings each day of the week so hopefully it's a decent amount of food for me as a picky eater but yeah let's go oh wow it's bitterly cold in the wind i think it's about eight or nine degrees um but the sun is just coming up so hopefully it's going to be a little bit warmer later Ooh, i've got another jumper in my bag and it's a big one i think i'm going to put it on on top of everything else that i've got on because it is bitter it's beautiful crisp clear gorgeous sunrise but I'm going to, have to put gloves on as well. I do also have a woolly hat, but I'm going to mess up with my hair and I'm not that cold yet. So I'm going to go through bag, check in security and stuff, and then see if I can find a spot in the sun. Well, I hope it warms up because I'm wearing everything I've got. Oh no, that's a lie. Actually, I have a pair of shorts rather optimistically in my bag, but oh, and a poncho and my waterproof. I can put my waterproof on top if it gets colder, but. <sighs> So cold. <laughs> to be fair though, I was expecting more days to be this cold, so can't complain. It is a lot busier today. Oh wow, it looks beautiful. I'm going to be that person that stops in the middle of everyone. Oh, amazing. Oh, I do love early mornings at the parks. I prefer it when it's 30 degrees in early morning at the parks. I um, check the weather back home. It's actually one degree colder here than it is at home. But then I guess at home it's lunchtime already. And here it's 8 a.m. So that's, you know, it's all relative. Dr. Marsh, director of the Dino Institute, and I hope you enjoyed those quaint exhibits in the old wing. Hello there. <laughs> Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you and how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. Oh, the smell in here is so good. Time travelers, place all excited. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the guanodon, and get out when the asteroid hits. Let's roll. Let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? Skyracosaurus. Not our dino. Warning, meteor shower in range. Just little one. Polyoramus. Locking autopilot on holy signal now. Hang on. Computer, full stop. Identify. Definitely not our dino. Go, go, go! Iguanodon. Forget it! Get them out now! Asteroid impact. Wait, you're not... This is it! They're not gonna make it! They're not gonna make it! Mission accomplished. You made it! That was so fun. The shop is open, so I'm going to look. Oh, I actually wanted to buy that shirt. I've decided I've got enough money left. <laughs> I have the Hong Kong version of that one on today. See, this is nice. There's different stuff in this shop.
if I had room in my house, I would also buy one of these because I remember seeing stuff like this in the gift shops. We're going to Pandora now. Once I tap in for Navi River Journey, I'm gonna try and work a safari lightning lane. I'm not doing Carly today. Too cold. Once I've tapped, I should be able to book a safari. These little boats are so cute. picture right this has got a 90 minute wait which is good because that's quite low for this time of day so right now it's just gone 8.40 so my flight of passage is 9.35 there's no point in booking a lightning lane now because there's no wait times for anything so I'm going to ride stuff without the wait times now <laughs> and then I can use lightning lanes later on instead. So the only exception to that is Navi, which I wish I hadn't done now because I could have waited 25 minutes for it. Um, but then hopefully it won't get too much longer later. I bought myself a sausage, egg, and cheese. I think it's the same thing, the biscuit. Um, just because I am hungry. And part of my problem this trip is I haven't been eating when I should. So I'm going to have breakfast. Then I'm going to have lunch at the Tudor Canteen. And then I've got Boma for dinner. I imagine this is going to be closer to half an hour, but never mind. Zone one is where you will stand just before you board your vehicle. Oh, I've never been this way before. <laughs> Yeah, 
in the rock formation is. That was so cute. These are a couple of females. They don't have any horns. Only the male have horns that spiral upwards on their heads. As visible, they're trying to hide out from predators. We have a couple of birds there on the left hand side. It looks like they have an English saddle right on their bills, which is why they're called saddle. You can actually outrun us humans on land by about 30 miles an hour. And they can open up their jaws quite large. Now, baby hippo are born about 50 to 100 pounds in more shallow areas in the rivers and watering holes. They actually know how to nurse underneath the water. Most they eat fish, but they can eat just about anything that comes their way. Crabs are crabs because they have a bit more of a pointed snout. Alec. These are actually some of the most efficient hunters in all of Africa, even better than an African lion. Now, a lion's accessory with their pranks, eagles have those horns in a crescent moon shape towards their backs, will deter predators from jumping on them. Beige color. Do lap you're seeing there. Underneath their necks. Six of them a day. Of course, you can't forget about my Maasai giraffe down the left hand side. Now they can call them a uh, Maasai draft. They have a very jagged edge to their spots. It's to be known as a bachelor. Oh, I thought you were looking. <laughs> yeah. Important minerals and uh, eat like having a daily multivitamin. You also might notice our elephants look quite dirty. It's also a lot of sand or dirt upon their backs. They'd be a younger elephant there on the left hand side. Now she's not a baby, she's more of a teenager or a juvenile. Actually, a five year old. Baby elephants are pretty large, still about 250 pounds. I want to say there was one dedicated mama, too. Their gestation period is just about two years. If I look at right at this ostrich up here, it's a not today, girls. You can see they're really good climbers. They love to, and they can't um, fully retract their claws, so they will uh, climb up there and set this little vantage point. Now these guys will sleep about 18 to 20 hours a day. Now when they're not sleeping, females do most of the hunting and the pride. Males stay at home, watching after the cubs and the territory. I was a bit worried to start with them when there was no, um, what they're called, not a clumpy and the rhino was an animal, I was like, oh no, nothing's out, but got better towards the end. I will get a lightning lane for it later on at the moment, it's still only at 11 o'clock for the lightning lane, so I'm going to do it this afternoon, and hopefully it's a little bit warmer. Um, everything else has got really low wait times apart from Navi, which is 45 minutes, I will go and queue for that later. Same with Flight of Passage, but I'm going to go and do my individual lightning lane for Flight of Passage now, and then I might... Um, I might just start from Pandora and work my way around, really. There's still a lot of people queuing for Flight of Passage outside, which today is just far too cold to do. down the bottom. That's a bit disappointing. Never mind. Grant, soon you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi Rite of Passage. Riding on the back of a banshee by being genetically matched and linked to an avatar. One way to understand what's going on with an ecosystem is to study what are called keystone species. These are animals like tigers, jaguars, seals. The banshee is one of these important animals. Sampling? I'm on it. Okay, um, First, we need to find the compatible match of your genetic material with the genetic material of one of the avatar bodies that we already have. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. That doesn't make sense. Welcome, everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi, flying on the back of an Ikran, or as we call it, a Banshee. 
to the Navi connecting to an Ikran and flying on its back is an incredibly important rite of passage they call Ikni Maya. We establish a link using powerful psionic amplification equipment. A human driver is connected to an avatar, which could be physically hundreds of kilometers away. When you follow our technician into the link chamber, you'll see a series of 16 link chairs. Please go to the number that matches the number you're standing on now. First, stow your gear in the storage containers on the back wall. Then get onto the chair as you would a bike. Straddle the seat, step forward, and sit down. Slide your hips forward until you are against the chest pad, and then move your feet all the way forward. Wait until you're seated before you put on your flight visors. Hold onto the hand grips as shown. It's important to hold onto the hand grips at all times. After you're seated, back and leg restraints will be firmly engaged. That was awesome as always. I don't actually know what I'm going to do now. I think maybe get some pictures. And then might work my back right way back around. Going around to Africa and then Asia around that way. They have some really cool stuff in here, but a lot of it is stuff that is cool at Disney, but when you get home, what are you going to do with your avatar tail? Oh, that's nice. Y'all, you know, France, there's just something so cool about the rhythmic beat of African drums. That is right, Tremaine. And did you know that black South African mind workers use beats to communicate? Oh, wait a minute, what do you mean? Yeah. Well, under the laws of apartheid, they were forbidden to communicate, so they found a way to secretly use beats. <laughs> okay, okay, so they use rhythms to send messages like Morse code. Exactly. They would stomp their feet, they would clap their hands, and they would tap their tall rubber gum boots to communicate with because the sounds. <laughs> okay, okay, so it sounds like traditional gum boot dancing is one of the recognizable influences of today's step in at historically black colleges and universities. Exactly. You are correct. We are the beat. Hey! We are the beat. train over to Rafiki's Planet Watch now. Where's 
is a lot. It's still the same. It's really good for both bugs, but um, none of the things are here. Yeah. Ew. There's two sheep over there having a domestic. And there's a little piggy down here. Hello, piggy. I mistimed that. I thought there was a drawing thing at 10 past 11. It's half past 11. Um, the apps are 10 past, but I guess that's what time they open the line for it. Um, so I know I'm going to get the train back, I'm not going to wait because it's another 20 minutes from now, but I'm just sitting here chilling at the moment. It's quiet, it's sunny, um, just thinking about what I'm going to do next. Probably the gorilla chairs. I think, as I said, I'm just going to walk around the park in order because there's no lines for anything, um, apart from Pandora, and I've done both of those. So I want to get a jungle, a safari for a, a little bit later, but the times haven't picked up late enough yet. So I'll give that another half an hour and then I'll book one. I can't see them. Oh, there they are. He's got a friend over there too. Those little yellow ones. It's very weird in the sun, it's really hot. Well, not really hot, but it's an awful lot warmer than it is in the shade. So I just stood in the sun, took all my layers off, now I've stepped in the shade. It's like, oh, it's not that warm after all. Going to get my lunch. Probably won't be anywhere to sit, but never mind. So when it's busy, this takes longer. Yesterday at Magic Kingdom, it took about 15 minutes.
Oh, wow. Mmm. Pick up seven. So I got my usual, the chicken and the rice with the creamy herb dressing. I said no slaw because I always leave it, but they left off the bubble balls as well. But never mind. That was delicious. That is my all-time favourite thing to eat in Walt Disney World. I was gutted I couldn't finish it, but I am absolutely stuffed. Um, as I was walking over, I was like, oh, I'm really hungry. But I need to eat lunch at lunchtime. I'm going to get a Mickey ice cream bar hopefully in a bit. And then I got boneless, so... Um, I wanted to eat early enough to be hungry later. I'd quite like to go to the toilet, but they all have lines out the door, and I'm really... Whilst I would quite like to go, I'm not that desperate. 